On April 11th, 2022, the Chipson team met up with the darkness for what they called the social media event of the season. At the end of the day, Chipson successfully delivered on their promise of music and laughs with the band. But just below the surface, tensions flared, and the Chipson team would be rocked by money, jealousy, and ego. All of this would leave Chipson CEO Jason USA on the verge of an emotional meltdown. You're watching Chip Story. In the early morning hours of April 9th, 2022, Jason USA frantically attempted to record a video message to his followers, alerting them that his team had arrived in Florida. We just start over. As footage shot that morning shows, Jason was distraught and somewhat confused as he attempted to deliver pertinent information about this make or break chips and event. For months, Jason USA had been under considerable stress brought on by ongoing harassment and shadow banning across his company's social media platforms. This had caused the CEO to become overwhelmed with agitation and paranoia. Weeks earlier, Jason had reached out to legendary rock group The Darkness in a desperate attempt to jolt the so-called algorithm by concocting a scheme that would bring the band and Chipson together. What sounded like a good idea at the time would prove to be a shell company's worst nightmare. What's going on guys? It's Marky with Chipson and I've landed. I just got picked up in this cool black car. We got the Ashton, a Chipson assistant, and um, just uh, Jason's health. Hours later, Chipson USA's recently appointed spokesperson, Marky from Gear Dogs, had just arrived in Florida. I'm sweating, I, you know what off. This would be the first time Marky had left his home state of Pennsylvania, as well as his first time meeting the Chipson team and their CEO. It was only eight months earlier, Jason USA hastily decided to dump a large portion of the company's money into Marky and Gear Dogs. They don't do nothing. Because, as he put it, Marky had star power. Marky would be playing the role of Chipson's on camera personality for the Darkness event, and Jason was desperate for his investment into YouTube's latest sensation to pay off. Hot, human, to watch people. It looks like I got a shower, I didn't. But thank you, this is beautiful. It, it, it's awesome being here and everything. They were real cool. They took me to Walmart, so I had to get shorts and stuff, but. Look at that. Well, God, did you guys tell them about the uh, the darkness thing? I can't tell you to say a word. We were, we were just about to, but yeah, so. Within minutes of meeting Marky, Jason realized his mistake. Not only had he blown all of the company's cash on gear dog. I get whoa! Yeah, whoa. But he was also having doubts that Marky had what it took to be the new spokesperson. So they're British, ain't it? Yeah, yeah. So um, here's the thing: I, I, I'm not multilingual. I speak English. Right, right. Do they? What do they speak? Because I I'm think they're. I don't. I think the. Uh, I think the one guy, the bass player, doesn't. Sorry, I have, sorry. I have my phone on the table. It's off. It just. I had your phone on the table. Yeah, yeah it's fine. I'll That's put it on this rock. Yeah. Adding to the CEO's restlessness was his decision to withhold vital information from the rest of his team, like the fact that he had lost contact with the darkness weeks earlier and hadn't secured any access for either days of the darkness chips and events. So, do I get a lanyard or? Totally. You get a lanyard. Okay. We'll get you a lanyard. We'll get okay. you the passes. Cool. 
With the band arriving in Florida the next day, Jason would only have a few short hours to salvage what was shaping up to be one of the biggest disasters in social media history. 